Hi everybody. Um, sorry I've been away for a while. This will probably be posted after Christmas. Yeah, it will. So, yeah, I've been away ages. But I've been working on Christmas presents that I can't really show. So there's no, been no point posting a video really. Um, just to go, oh, I'm making something, can't show you. I'll finish something, can't show you. So, uh, yes, this will be hopefully. Yeah, it should be. Oh no, I have to add a snippet on because I'm making something for my nephew now that's not done. It's not near enough finished to show you really. Uh, but some projects that I've made uh, that I want to get wrapped, so I'm going to have to show you now. Uh, I had planned to do a big Christmas rundown of everything I've made and then I went and wrapped one of them, which I'll have to stick a picture in of. Silly me. I wrapped it up and I thought, oh, Ugh. I'm not unwrapping it. So, what have I been making? I made for my mother-in-law the attic, no, 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 patchwork heart cushion. Was it attic 24? <gasps> Sorry. Um, yeah, the patchwork heart uh, granny square cushion. This is what I so fabulously explained as make a square, fold it in and stitch it. So I don't know that the colours will come up right because every picture I tried to take of this, the colours seem too harsh. This is not a bright pink. This is quite a dusty pink um, and a nice, this is a really nice, uh, I think this is the Ming uh, blue that I got, the new Fashion DK, it's a lovely uh, blue. So that's that for mother-in-law, done. Now the secret project I couldn't show you, I've just found an ending, that's annoying. Uh, I thought I'd got them all, this was a lot of ends. This was badly thought out <laughs> by me. I was like, yeah, mate, this is be fun. A million ends. So, a while ago, I started making little granny squares and bordering them with the cream cone of mystery. Um, I thought I'll sew together a baby blanket or something at some point. And then I thought, well, why don't I just make my sister an ugly blanket? But not with a million of these, because that would be, you know, tedious. So I made some big ones and I've done uh, five by five, but obviously it's smaller than my uh, my squares are done on my ugly blanket. So it's about 46 inches square, which is not, it's, it's not an, you know, insignificant size. Um, so that's ice. These I'll probably struggle with because some of these are Carol's. Hi Carol. Carol, um, I was working on scraps that I got left over from my ugly blanket. Um, so the, they've gone into two blankets. So that's a Carol one. This is ice. That's ice. That's a Carol one. That's some ice I had. Um, that and that Carol's. These two are ice. And then that's uh, one from Carol. It's probably a Turkish one. And then... I'll go through everything. But, uh, little ones there. I'm sorry about the light, it's not going to be great, but it's quarter past two on, what are we now? December the 8th, and it's a bit murky. Uh, that's some. What is that? Sirdar? Crafter or Drifter? Or, I don't know. Beautiful, I may not the piss out of it. Is that one? Mainly pinkies and stuff in this one, so I had to try and add some other colours in. My sister's not against pink, but it was kind of getting a bit, it needed something to break it up a little bit. Um, there is a very special square that I need to show you when I get to it, because Tobin crocheted it. It's amazing. He's so happy that it went into the blanket. There's that one. And he knows where it is and everything, you can pick it out. That's some ice that I made the Galaxy of Change blanket out of. Uh, where is it? Next row? Is it in this row? No. Okay, some more ice. I think I'll use every variegated ice I've got a few times. Uh, last row, sorry, I think I'm boring anybody. So that's the beige ice that I've done the two blooming flower cushions and the rings of change blanket out of. 
No one missed. That's that's like the pink and purple ice, uh, pink and grey ice. It looks dead dark. This, this square. Toby did it. I hope. I mean, I helped him, but Toby was double crocheting like him. A good professional hooker, bless him. And he loved it and he was so excited. So that's the the special square. Um, yeah, so this will be a nice sort of lap blanket for my sister, which I'm sure her partner will pinch and she'll tell him off. But So Prezi Dawn, I can get that wrapped, it's all washed and blocked and ready to go. Now I have a secret sneaky. My hair's gone mad. It's not long been cut. And it's just gone horrible, ready for Christmas. Yay! I've fallen out with my hair. Sorry. So, I spoke to um, Barry, Barry Gibson, because I wanted to send something to both Barry and Amy uh, for Christmas. And I was talking through some ideas for Amy and we weren't sure. And then he suggested a pattern that he'd got and he'd thought of for Amy. But he wasn't going to get around to doing it, so I did it. Um, and this is like, well, it's bigger. Uh, it's bigger than I planned to do, but I think it's come out lovely. Um, I forgot to. I was reaching for my phone. You're my phone. Sorry. I was going to look up the pattern, but I can't because it's on my phone. Sorry. I will add it in the notes below. But look, it's the apple picker. Apple picky. Apple picker. Dull. Um, I have to admit, this wasn't the most fun. Um, the doll itself, I'd got it done within a day, day or two, maybe. Um, and all sewn together, and I was like, yeah, I'm flying through this. Hmm. This is the second jumper I've made, and these are the second pair of dungarees. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but the doll is in a three mil. Um, so I made the clothes in three mil. And I thought, oh, the dungarees look a bit big. Never mind, I'll see. I'll go into the jumper. Jumper was massive. So this is a, on a two mil. Oh, DK wall. Um, so this is a two mil, and the dungarees are 2.5. Look at the little buttons. And it's just straight straps at the back. Uh, there was no um, no back photos of it, of the doll. So I didn't know if they were um, crossed over or straight or what. So I'm going to give a little plaits. Um, I d I'm not very good at hair. It's, yeah, like in real life, not very good at hair. Um, nice little hat from the Mystery Cone of Doom or... A cream kind of mystery, shall we say? It's not doom. It's very nice. Uh, little boots, which I had to do in three mil because I did them in two and a half, and they wouldn't go on a little feet. So, uh, boots is this is getting. Well, I need to finish the bag. I'll show you the bag, the little market bag that goes with her. Now, in the pattern, it suggests that you cut strips of leather for the handles. I don't have any leather, and I'm running out of time. So. I just changed some grey style craft and I've just done uh, some foundation single crochets because I'm all about the foundation single crochets now or double crochets or whatever they are because I've never liked working into chains so now I can do that I'm like oh let's do that so that's more cream uh, from the mystery cone I did go past that shop earlier today and it looks like they've still got some cones in but it looks very much like the ones I had so before doll down I saw before and I kind of feel obliged to get something when I go in there because she's very nice but um yeah I couldn't really say well haven't you got any more because then I'm committed to going back in and I really shouldn't be buying any no no however I did order some because you're in the future now <laughs> there may be an in between where I make what I've ordered the wool for um, but I've ordered from Dermos I will probably regret it but Paul has asked me to make him something. I'll give you a moment to get back up off the floor. <laughs> we weren't shopping at the weekend. 
And he picked up a scarf and, yeah, I shouted at him. You are not spending money on a scarf. You are not. A shop-bought scarf will not come in my house. And he's like, Shoo. And he, I, he says, oh, I know, you can make me a neck warmer. I'm like, who are you? But, so I'm making him a grey one. I ordered some... Starcraft Life Super Chunky that I made the boys cows in. Um, so I'm going to make him one of those. I ordered two bowls just in case. And it was on a ridiculously cheap price at Dermore's. And I was like, eh. And they've got £1 postage on stuff at the moment. But £1 are, at Postage on orders under £25. I couldn't find it anywhere cheaper. Like even within range because it was cheap and the postage was cheap. And they have a chance to impress me, maybe a smaller, mind you, no, saying that, uh, I was going to say a smaller parcel might come with Royal Mail. No, I've had a, an email from Hermes saying it's out for delivery today, but I've had to have it delivered to work. I ordered it on Sunday. I got an email on Monday saying it was on its way, and I heard nothing until today, which is Thursday, to say it's it's with Hermes, and it says just as out for delivery, so we'll see if they get it to work or if it gets, you know. They return it because the address is wrong again. I mean, there's no rush for this, um, particularly, but, you know, just get it right once, once, get one order, please. So, yeah, um, I'll probably stick another snippet on this, um, make my nephew some slippers. And then I'll post this once all the gifts have been received. This little lady's going in the post. Um, I can't think what else. I haven't got anything else to show you. Um, the other presents, you see my dad's blanket and the blanket for Paul's gran and the shawl for my friend. I think that's it. Yeah, so I'm almost done. Gift crochet. Um, and I was talking to Barry because he was showing me, he's such an enabler. He blamed me last time on his video. Pointed at me. Where are you? There. Pointed at me and blamed me for enabling him to um, crochet the Lali Lala. What was it? A candle. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, but he's just as bad. And then he's showing me some Susan Claudino patterns, the snowman, which is just so cute. Um, so, yes, I've said once the gift making is done, I'm going to, you know, dedicate some time to, to knitting a bit more. Because um, I did those practice bits, when? A couple of months ago. Um, was it summer? It could probably have been summer. That's scary. Anyway, um, yeah, I did a bit and then crochet took over. So, yes, I'll have some knitting time. Because I don't particularly have anything to do. Um, oh, baby arrived. Um, 21st of November. And it's baby girl. I don't think I've done a video since then, have I? No. So Bunny will go to her. We've not actually seen her yet. Um, obviously, we give them the, the, the time to settle once um, they would come home and everything. Um, and the weekend, they were free for us to visit. The boys have been sick. So we were like, no, we won't, we won't bring germs. So we've still not seen her. Hopefully this weekend, fingers crossed. Um, I've just texted her mum and said, what? What does lady need for Christmas? Because I do have two blankets ready made. Uh, that would be girl appropriate, but I don't know. I was kind of waiting to see her and talk to to the mom and say what does she need and stuff. But it's getting a bit close, so there may be a you know an emergency baby blanket coming up, or I just give her the one one of the ones I've got made because um, they're pretty. So, I don't know. Anyway. I'm waffling and I'm going to attach something to the end of this video and you'll be like, oh gosh, shut up. <laughs> right. I hope you've had a wonderful holiday season, period, by the time uh, I post this. Uh, Merry Christmas, if you celebrate that. Merry everything else, if you celebrate anything else. Um, have a great time. Be safe. Stay warm. And yeah, I hope you get lots of goodies. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.